We all know the many ways plants play an indispensable role in our lives. The fact is, it's almost impossible to conceive of our lives without the necessities and conveniences plant products provide us. But plants can also do incredible things most people don't know about. Even seemingly ordinary cultivated plants can produce or do some mind-blowing things. Like preventing cancer. or feeding millions of people and solving agriculture and energy problems all at the same time. In fact, you might say that many plants have a superpower. This semester, you're going to tell the scientific story of the superpower of a cultivated plant. You'll choose a plant with an amazing ability You'll search for the latest research on this topic in Science Daily or an academic database to discover a plant superpower you find fascinating, extraordinary, or exciting. You'll learn how to navigate through databases that contain thousands of the latest scientific discoveries. To find the information you'll need to tell the story of your plant superpower, Then you'll explore the superpower of that cultivated plant using primary scientific research. Then you'll build a project that conveys this story to an audience of non-scientists. And through this process, you will develop skills that are crucial to becoming a successful scientist and scholar. As scientists, and also as informed citizens of the world and contributors to a better society, we need to be able to evaluate the reliability and usefulness of information that we find, or that's put before us. Being able to find and organize relevant, up-to-date, and reliable information will be critical to the success or the failure of projects, businesses, maybe even careers. This is why information literacy is a focus early on in our classes. The skill of self-directed inquiry is critical. Scientists like me do it all the time, sifting through the massive amounts of information and observations that are out there to identify what's valuable and what's interesting. By learning this process, you will gain the critical skills that you need to see and analyze what needs to be done to solve a problem or to find information. Through a step-by-step -step process, you will know how to investigate, how to organize, and then how to communicate that information. Future assignments in upper division courses or even in your career will never be intimidating because you will know how to approach your inquiry in a very systematic way. When I write scientific papers, telling a story is actually my approach. So I connect with my audience in a logical and interesting way. This includes using lots of pictures. Telling a story is key to scientific communication. Communication is at the heart of everything we do every day. You may be a brilliant scholar or researcher, but if you cannot communicate that work in an orderly and professional manner, then all the hard work will never get the credit it deserves. 
gaining these fundamental skills in self-directed inquiry, information literacy and scientific communication set you on the path to becoming more confident and sophisticated graduates and therefore stand out and be more desirable to employers, whatever your specific and exciting career in plant science. Through this project, you'll have the chance to discover and share what you think makes plants so incredible, and in the process, show how many of the plants we overlook are quietly proving to be the superheroes we need to build a better future with your help.